My Father's Dragon is a 1948 illustrated children's novel by American author Ruth Stiles Gannett. Narrated by the unnamed son of Elmer Elevator, it tells the story of when a young Elmer traveled to Wild Island to save a dragon hatchling. Elmer uses his creativity and quick thinking to complete his rescue mission. The novel, the first in a trilogy, is followed by Elmer and the Dragon, and the Dragons of Blue Land. It has been adapted into both an anime and an animated movie, and was awarded the Newbery Honor, one of the highest awards in children's literature. The story begins in an unnamed city where Elmer lives as a child. After he befriends an alley cat and decides to take him home, his mother refuses to take the cat in. Though he cannot give him a permanent place to stay, Elmer and the cat remain friends. When Elmer tells the cat about his dream of being able to fly wherever he wants, the cat tells Elmer his story of Wild Island. On the island, a young dragon is enslaved by the local traders, who force him to carry them and their goods back and forth across the river. Elmer resolves to travel to Wild Island to save the baby dragon, the cat helps him pack enough supplies for his trip. Then, Elmer sneaks aboard a ship in the harbor and sets out to sea. The ship lands at the island of Tangerina, just a short way across the ocean from Wild Island and connected by an archipelago called the Ocean Rocks. The island of Tangerina is full of tangerine trees, and Elmer picks some to eat during his journey across the rocks. He makes it to Wild Island but is not given a friendly welcome, the islanders label him an invader and try to make him leave. Elmer perseveres on his journey to find the dragon. As he travels deeper into the dense jungle, he survives encounters with dangerous and clever animals, including monkeys, tigers, and a gorilla, lion, and rhino. At each juncture, he uses his supplies to engineer a way forward. Elmer makes it to the river that the dragon is forced to cross repeatedly. With the animals in tight pursuit, he realizes that the only way across is atop the backs of the vicious crocodiles. Because the crocodiles are blind with hunger, he ties a lollipop to each of their tails. The crocodiles chomp onto each other forming a bridge. Then, he runs across them to the river's other side. Finally, he reaches the baby dragon. While he tries to cut its rope tether, the lion and other animals try to use the crocodile bridge. Luckily, the crocodiles move away from the river's banks, stranding them. Elmer cuts the rope and flies away atop the dragon, leaving Wild Island behind forever. Due to his determination and cunning, Elmer becomes a hero in his family for years to come, as evidenced by his son's telling of the tale many years later. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.